Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Mark. I'm a travel writer, and I just arrived here in um, Medida, Mexico, in the Yuc state of Yucatan. And I'm really tired, but I want to show you this brand new um, Hampton Inn, which the fir it's the first Hampton Inn that's ever opened in the state of Yucatan, Mexico. And if you've ever stayed in a Hampton Inn in the United States, you know they're they're very nice and reasonably priced. Um, but in Latin America, Hampton Inns are even nicer actually and still reasonably priced so i want to give you a look at the room before i mess it up because i'm so tired i'm going to pass out um but first let's just see here's the the hallway here this is the third floor of the hampton inn in merida mexico in the state of yucatan it's the capital of yucatan state and now i'm going to give you a tour of my room before I mess it up and uh, let me know what you think and if this is what you'd expect from a Hampton Inn or if this is a little bit different. Carpet design, yeah, let's check this out. Hold on, I'm gonna switch this. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild carpet design. It's um, kind of eye-catching there and this is the, the hallway and the third floor where I'm staying. So now let's go into my room and uh, hey, Cano, Cano Potrero, Okay, so we're going into my room now. This is a standard guest room, I think it is, for, for one or two people. Um, and again, we're at the Hampton Inn. I opened less than a month ago, three weeks ago, in um, Merida, the state of Yucatan, um, about four hours, three or four hours from Cancun, Mexico. So this is the bedroom. This is a, is it a king size or queen size? What do you think? I think it's queen size. But um, it looks comfortable. I'm going to be sleeping there very soon tonight because I'm exhausted. Um, the room rates here, um, that's a good question, um, Cano Potrero. I think they start at a, around the $100 mark, something like that. But I think you can get it for cheaper. It just depends on when you book and what kind of luck you have. So, uh, But this is a standard room, so this is not anything special. Um, one thing I, I do like, the decor is kind of cool. There's some original artwork here. Um, which is kind of interesting. Well, not original, I don't think. Um, you know, I'm sure they have it throughout the hotel, but at least it's not like standard hotel stuff. So again, we're here in Merida, Mexico. Yucatan just opened uh, a three, three weeks ago. Oh, the view, very good question. Let's go over to the view. The view has pretty nice big windows. It's not like a water view or anything because we're not in Cancun, we're in Merida. There's a new, brand new office building going up there. And then you can see, as far as I can see, the state of Yucatan is very flat. Um, it's not quite in downtown Merida. Um, it is actually across from the convention center. So it's just down the, just down the avenue, down, um, what is that called? Uh, Paseo Montejo from downtown. So it's not really downtown, but it's close. You, but you can see here, it's pretty wide open spaces here. There's some housing off in the distance. And the state of Yucatan is really flat around here. So you can see pretty far, except over here where there's buildings. So let's go around to the room again. Um, so you got a writing space here. Um, that's true, it is quiet out here. I think it'll be really quiet tonight, which is good because I'm going to be exhausted. You got the reflection of the bed there. Nice big writing desk. Free Wi-Fi is one thing I love, and I, I prefer to stay in a cheaper hotel with free Wi-Fi than a really luxurious hotel where they charge you an arm and a leg. So it's free Wi-Fi here, which I like. Nice big TV screen. I don't know what is that movie or TV show. Is that some guy who's like amphibious, I think? Anyway, um, so that's that. You got the, I believe, queen size bed. And uh, then you have a nice little kind of love seat thing. Decent decor, I think. You know, it's pretty nice, pretty fresh looking. Um, brand new hotel opened less than three weeks ago, less than one month ago. Here's another example of some artwork here. So that's pretty cool, um, not bad. Uh, ignore my luggage, I have not unpacked yet. Oh, so here's some other things. If you look in here, hidden here kind of nicely is the coffee maker and coffee. I don't know if that's a good brand or not, I don't drink coffee, La Fuente Cafe. And then a Mr. Coffee, single cup. So that's that, I like how that's kind of hidden so it doesn't take up space. Here is where you put your, your ice and that kind of stuff. Also hidden rather attractively back here is an empty refrigerator so you can fill it up with what you want. I really like this because as someone who has to watch my budget, I don't like to have to worry about like getting charged a fortune just to take stuff out of a mini bar. So this way you can go across the street, there's a Costco and actually buy whatever you want. Um, so that's kind of cool. Dresser drawers here, 
I'm not very neat, so I don't know how, how much I'll use those. But anyway, nice long desk, so that's pretty cool at the Hampton Inn here. Again, it just opened less than a month ago. So full length mirror here. Let's see if there's um, a safe deposit box. Yeah, there is, of course there should be. And you got your basics here, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, everything you need to iron. Again, I don't do that too much, but I probably will this time because I'm here for work. Uh, there's the bedroom. Let's go to the bathroom. Another thing I like when I'm traveling is to find name brand products that I actually know the brand. So here's Neutrogena um, for the bath stuff. And I think all of the Hampton Inns have that in the United States and in Latin America too. Um, so the sink is pretty modern, very clean. Everything's brand new, brand new, which is always fun. It's nice. As long as everything works, then I like brand new. Um, there's me looking bad because I've been traveling for 12 hours, changed planes twice just to get to Mandy, that from New York City. You don't usually have to do that, but I had a bad, bad connection. Anyway, more original, well not original, but more attractive artwork, which is very nice. Um, the toilet looks fine, totally useful. Some towels, and I also like the shower. It's a nice big walk-in shower, so there's no barriers there really. I don't know if this is actually considered accessible, probably not, but it's very, it's very wide open, a large size. You could almost have a party in there, right? Um, very attractive, very clean. So that's it for now in terms of my room. What do you guys think of the, um, of the Hampton Inn here? I, I mean, it's, uh, is this what you expect from a Hampton Inn or is this different from what you'd see? I mean, when I've stayed in the United States, it's a little bit different, um, but I've stayed in a Hampton Inn in, uh, that was brand new in Panama recently in May, and this is my first one in Mexico. And um, I like what I see. Later, I'm gonna take you guys down to the, whatchamacallit, to the lobby. So you can see there's actually a lobby bar, there's a lobby restaurant, and um, there's some other features too for the hotel, um, like a gym and things like that. So uh, that's it for now. So thanks for taking this tour of my room before I mess it up. And uh, greetings, saludos desde Merida, Yucatan. And again, this is Mark Chestnut. And stay tuned to see more of the hotel and more of Merida and the LGBT Confex, which is a big uh, tourism conference that I'm going to be speaking at tomorrow here in Merida. Okay, talk to you later. I think. <laughs>